Hey, this is Mike McMillan. Welcome. How are you? I'm glad you stopped by. And today what we're going to do is help you make a thumbnail image for um, your YouTube videos. If you want a custom thumbnail, which is a good idea, and a lot of people, probably most people do this. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how to put a white outline around your face, your head, your torso, your whole body, whatever you want outlined there. And uh, I've got an image right here that we're going to use today. And I'm on my Mac. And what I'm going to do is come down here, and right here, I'm going to click and hold down on my mouse pad and drag an area right there that I want, that I want to use, and I'm going to come down here to copy. And I just copied that. Okay? So good. Now, I'm going to come into Photoshop right here and go to Create New. And right over here, I'm going to make the width 1280 by 720 tall because that's the proportion, the dimensions, the size of pixels, you know, that will fit in a YouTube player perfectly. So I'll go to create. Now I've got a black, uh, white, red, <laughs> sorry, I've got a red background. Uh, it doesn't matter. We can change that later. It doesn't matter. But what I'm going to do, remember I copied that girl's image. So I'll come to edit. I'll go down to paste right here. And what I'm going to do is get my selection tool up there. I'm going to drag her down there. I'm going to push the shift key and I'm going to drag this up so it enlarges her proportionally okay just like this I'll click on my arrow tool apply this and yeah hey this is Mike real quick I've got some three cool videos that I think might help you uh, do some things and they all relate to using marker boards uh, as backdrops for your videos or your thumbnails. I've got three videos. The first shows you how I made a huge marker board for under $12. The second one um, shows you how to do some really cool lettering like I do. And the third one shows you how to do some graphics and artwork and get it onto your marker board and make it look really cool. Just click on the link in the description below or click on the link that's shown down here. You can get these. They're absolutely free. Okay, good. Now, that's a beautiful picture, but I'm going to expand this just a little bit and show you something. See, all the outlines between her skin and this black color are perfect. This is a great uh, photograph. But what I'm going to do is come up here and take my paintbrush tool. Well, first, let me take my eyedropper tool, and I'm going to click any place on this black. And what that does is it sets down here. It sets the color to black. And I'm going to take my paintbrush tool right here. And notice how right here she's got some straggly hair, which would look great in person, but that could create a problem for us um, in trying to get this white outline because Photoshop could get confused about what's what with some uh, fine detail like that. So all I'm going to do is take that out just like this, okay? And uh, I might even come up here and paint over that area and I might just to make it easier for us today just take that out okay that's kind of pointy let's there we go that looks good so I'll squeeze this down so now all we need to do is come up here this is my magic wand tool but I want to use this quick selection tool and all you do is click down on it and drag it around in this case on her face and it selects everything that I drag around and uh, it just takes two seconds just like that Okay, so the next thing I'll do is come up here to where it says stroke, right there. And <clears throat> you could play around with different size uh, lines to use. I'm going to use 10 pixels. That's what I used in the last one I did, I guess. But the color, I want to make the color of this line I use white. You could make it any color you want. Just pick a different color, whatever. But I want to use white up here. So I click OK. So I'm going to have a 10 pixel line that's white, and I always click on outside. You could put the line in the middle or inside of the image, but I always click on outside and just do this. Okay? And uh, there's our white line. So see how easy that was? Now the next thing is, you can see that my select tool has still got an outline going right there. And so what I want to do is come back up here and get my magic wand tool and just click anywhere outside of the image, outside of my canvas, just click it up here. Okay, it took that out. Now this is, I could use this and it would look perfect. You have to remember that your thumbnail image is gonna be about this big, okay? So you don't have to worry about this, but you can see 
This is a little pixelated. It's a little choppy around the outside. Let me make it even bigger. See how it's just a little bit choppy. So what I would do is take my blur tool right here and I would just go over all of this like just once or twice. I don't want to make it too blurry but I want to take some of that pixelation out of there and like I said you don't really have to do that but uh, because it's going to be so small on YouTube but you can blur this out just a little bit and there are other ways that you can do this but I I want this to be quick easy painless and with as little frustration as possible so that's what I would do okay I can get this down here blurred out a little bit so there we go and now if we squeeze this down remember your thumbnail is going to be about this size right here um, maybe a little bigger maybe like that whatever we have a perfect white line around there now and over here of course so that's all you have to do but over here you could type some I, you know this is nonsense text but you could type some text in there and say have your name and say how to do SEO or something you know whatever um, and you could do that and end up with something like that okay well please don't leave me yet I got one important thing to show you that'll save you a lot of heartache possibly down the road and um, that is up here I'm going to do the same thing we did but with a different image I'm going to go much faster and this is image of myself I'm not going to use that girl this time I'm going to use this I'll drag this down a little bit I'll grab a corner scale it up proportionally make it look something like this click on my arrow tool it asks where I want to place that it says yes <clears throat> now here's the problem earlier with that girl the portrait of that girl it had a completely black background and it made it pretty easy to do a lot of times if you have like bookshelves behind you lamps behind you a television set all kinds of things um, it's a little more involved and what happens is if I come up here and I get my quick select tool and I try to select myself you can see I selected myself but a lot of these things that I've got on my board my marker board behind me also got selected this black bar down here got selected and some stuff up here so that creates a problem because I only want my head and body to be selected so what I'm going to do is come up here to my magic wand tool just click it off my canvas any place in the black and that unselects that okay um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush right here and I'm going to try to paint it won't let me because when I try to paint it says this must be rasterized first okay so just click OK now I want to up here see the green that's selected as my foreground color so if I paint I get that green in there um, I want to select a color and I'll probably end up using green but I don't want to use red because there's red in here there's blue in here there's black in here I want to pick a color like yellow or green that uh, is not on my image so that's why I'm gonna go with this green okay so I'm gonna come up here see how big my paintbrush is that's too big to use right now so I'm gonna come up here instead of 87 points I'm gonna make this about uh, uh, that's 19 uh, I'll use 19 that's okay and you can see it's much smaller now <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do this very quickly if I did it slower I could do a much much better job but you don't want to sit here for the next 25 minutes watching me do stuff so I'm just going to green out a whole bunch of this stuff in here and basically just outline my head and my body again I could do much better if I went slower but you don't have the time for me to go slow <laughs> okay so that's what I did now I'm going to come back up here it was 19 point brush pixel brush I'm going to take this out to about uh, 91 pixels that's fine and see how big this is now okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to green out everything that's in my image that's not part of me so I'm using this big broad brush and all I need to do is green out and you could use any color just use a color that's not in your image it makes it much easier to do so I'm going to green all of this out right here just like this get all of that get this up here just like that okay now I'm going to come up <clears throat> excuse me take my magic wand tool right here and I'm going to click anywhere on this green okay 
bang, I hit delete and it's gone. Okay? So now I'll click up here with my tool that unselects this. And what I'm going to do now is come in, <clears throat> excuse me, get my quick select tool and just drag it over myself. There we go. I'm highlighted. And again, <clears throat> we did this earlier. So I go to stroke. Um, I'm going to use a 10 point, uh, a 10 pixel uh, uh, line. And I want to make my line white. So I drag way up here in my color picker. And I clicked on outside because I want the line outside of my body. I click OK. And there we go. OK, now I can come up here and take my uh, magic wand tool, just click up here any place, and it undoes that. Okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, now what you could do is just drag this around, you know, wherever you want to put it, and then you can put some text in there. You can make it bigger if you want. Um, but that's how you could do And In the previous example, um, apply that. I used this blur tool, and I just kind of went over that to take the rough jaggies out. I'm not going to do all of this, but... You know, if you want to, you can do that. But again, that's how you can get a white line around anything that you want to. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, it's been my pleasure working with you here today in this video. And very best wishes for tremendous success with whatever you're doing online. Okay, good.